the issues that I'm most passionate about since I'm a veterinarian is for the veterinary community to provide cost-effective pet health care for the majority of pets. I don't want it to get too costly for people to take care of their best friends. Oh, I'm a huge advocate of teaching people doglish, which is how to communicate with your animals. If you know how to communicate with your animal, it actually makes your whole relationship with them better. They live longer and you live longer, less stress. And more, less of your shoes are chewed up and your wallet's not chewed up at the vet's office either. Legalizing ferrets in California. We would like to come visit our, my parents and because they're not allowed in there, we can't come visit as often, very often without our friends. Blind dogs. I'm the most passionate about blind dogs. Hopelessly devoted to them. I'm really passionate just about making dogs feel better. I really am focused on um, if they have issues with their paws, with their skin, with their ears. Um, I, I feel like I'm uh, the best way for them to find some healing without having to go to chemicals and steroids and unnatural things. I'm most passionate in the pet world about helping pet parents become pet experts themselves. I would love to see myself out of a job in 15 years, uh, which may sound strange, but if, I, if, pet, if pet parents were smart enough and had all the education they need about their pets, then they would go to the vet when they need to and they wouldn't need services like uh, Whisker Docs. Um, well, since I'm part of Ginger Lead Dog Support Harness, uh, helping older dogs and dogs recovering from surgery, um, it's just a, it's a blessing to be able to help uh, dogs and, and their owners through such difficult times. Well, that's an easy one because right now, my issue is professional pet care, and I co-founded a group that we're bringing certification for people that work in dog boarding, daycare, pet sitting, and dog walking. So that is definitely my passion right now so that pet parents have an easy choice, they find a certified provider. I am most passionate about canine lymphoma and raising money for a groundbreaking new treatment for lymphoma. It's called T-cell infusion. It's where they basically teach the dog's own cells to seek out and destroy cancer. And my own dog had that treatment just this week. Multiple experts in the field believe that this is the cure for lymphoma. Um, it's going to humans too, and they think it's the cure there. My passion in the pet world is probably therapy dogs and the work that they do for such organizations as hospice organizations, pet rescues, and a number of different 501c3 organizations. There are so many, but I think it's just the love for the animals. Like, let's keep that love going and, and help animals that are underserved. I'm very passionate about rescue. I'm also very passionate about the new fear-free movement. I love that whole concept about making the animals and the, our pets more comfortable. No matter what they're experiencing, being at blog pause or being going to the veterinary office, I love the fact that we're trying to make that experience fear-free. Oh, that's easy. I'm a deaf dog blogger, so deaf dog advocacy, uh, deaf dog training, safety, all, anything related to deaf dogs is super important to me. Well, I'm passionate about PACT, which stands for People, Animals, Compu Companions Together. Everything we do through PACT involves a human-animal bond. It's not just the saving and rescue of animals, which we do, but also we help human beings live better lives with their animals, where the animal's life's improved and the human's life improved. And like two and two equals five, not four, because everyone has a more enjoyable, happy life through the work we do at PAC. That's hard because I, I'm passionate about a lot of them. But I think the biggest one is save them all, that we need to get to no kill. I am most passionate about raw feeding. I believe that um, although commercial dry dog food is convenient and I understand the push to feed it to our dogs, I think that we have gone off the rails and as a result our dogs are being subjected not only through food but through chemicals and um, over vaccination to too many things that are shortening their lives, that are increasing poor behavior and increasing obesity, cancer, um, diabetes, and other health issues that our dogs just didn't have 50 years ago. Cat rescue, uh, saving the ferals on the street, getting them spayed and neutered so they don't have any more kittens. I'm a veterinary technician and it's fairly common knowledge that cats don't go to the veterinarian as often as 
dogs do. I think to stress the importance of proper health care in cats is that's what's at, it's what I'm passionate about. Well, I'm most passionate about uh, pet overpopulation. I really have dedicated the rest of my life to pet overpopulation because uh, it, it, it's horrible. 80,000 dogs and cats a week are euthanized in the United States. And uh, so to have uh, uh, the platform I have now with my Lucy Pet Foundation and our, our doing spay and neuter, you know, I have spay and neuter trucks. I've done over 10,000 spay and neuters just in LA and I'm uh, expanding that all over the country. So that's my, my passion to, to stop pet overpopulation and the 80,000 dogs and cats a week that are euthanized. Well, I guess, I guess yeah, what, what am I most passionate about? Um, that's probably pretty easy. The, giving out those big checks to help uh, uh, pet rescues and shelters and so on, that remains the biggest problem, the biggest issue in the pet world is, is saving uh, every, everyone we can and uh, our ability to, to contribute to that because of what we do is, is what makes me most passionate. We, Blog Paws, are super excited to say we will be in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for 2017. Mark your calendars, May 17th to May 20th. Join us and Pet World Insider for an amazing event, education you won't be able to replace anywhere else, networking you won't be able to replace anywhere else, an exhibit hall full of brands that you want to meet, and some of the best keynoters you will see anywhere in the pet industry. Be there.